Hello everybody, welcome to today's mini Snapsy tutorial. Today's lesson is on the brush tool, where a swipe of the finger can enable editing in specific parts of the photo. Let's go. Today we will be talking about the brush tool, a very powerful tool that can be used to subtly or dramatically alter the look of your image. Using this tool you can brush over a particular area of an image to apply a desired effect to just that certain area. This photo I have opened in Snapseed already. We'll hit the tool selection and pick brush right here. And the screen comes up. You'll notice that there are a number of icons along the bottom. Different brushes that can be used to paint effects. There's one for dodge and burn. That's for subtly darkening or brightening certain areas of the photo. There's one for exposure that also affects brightness but the effects can be stronger depending on the strength you use. There's one for temperature that lets you warm up or cool down the colors. And there's a saturation brush that lets you increase or decrease the color saturation. Once you select a brush, let's start with saturation. We'll select saturation. You'll notice at the bottom there is a scale, saturation plus 10. If I hit the down arrow, it goes to plus five. There is no zero. Zero is an eraser. Negative five, negative ten. So let's start at plus ten so you can see the effect. I've got plus ten and I'm going to brush over, let's say this green area up here at the top. And you'll notice how it gets more and more saturated as I brush over it. Before, after, before, after. The more I brush over it, the more saturated it gets. It's a little pronounced, so you can see it before, after. And if I double tap, you can't adjust the size of the paintbrush, but if you double tap, let's try that again, it zooms in a little closer, and this little circle you see as I'm zooming in and out is the size of the brush. You'll see I've got a little part of her hair. Well, let me back up. If you touch this little eye icon here, then you, wherever the red shows up is where the effect has been painted. So you see saturation. I was going to paint some more here where all this green stuff turns red. If I happen to slop over into her face, then I will just change the setting down here to eraser and go and erase that effect from her face and her hair. Double tap again and go out. I got a little spot there I missed. Whoops, that's erasing. So I'm going to add that back in. So that whole red spot now is saturated. If I turn off the eye and do the before and after, you can see how saturated it is. And you can do that to any part of your photo. You can also go back to the brushes, choose the brushes down here. And we just played with saturation. Let's play with exposure now. And I'm going to, let's say, I want to darken her face a little bit. So I'm going to double tap on her face and then shrink it down so I can see the whole face. I'm going to hit exposure. I want to darken it, so I want a negative number. Start very subtly with a negative three. And I'll paint over her face quickly. That's a lot, isn't it? You can see before, after. It's way, way too pronounced. So I'm going to go back to the eraser and erase that entire effect. Didn't like how that worked. So let's go back to the paintbrush and try dodge and burn. And if I do a dodge and burn, I'll change that to a negative five, which makes it darker. And I'll brush her face just slightly. Turn on the eye to see where I'm applying the effect. Turn off the eye. Now if I touch before, after, her face is darkened just slightly. If I don't like it again, I can hit erase and erase that dark spot there I didn't like. Before, after. I erase right between her eyes a little bit. There you go, I can double tap back. And there you go, you can play with these different paintbrushes to get different effects. 
And when you like it, of course, hit the check mark, hit save, and save a copy. And there you go. It gets easier. It's easy when you know how. It's easier when you've done it once or twice, and it's easiest when you do it a lot. So pull out your brush tool and play with it with the photograph. You can't really hurt anything. Just play with it over and over and over and see if that might be something you'll benefit from.